Alrighty. So I'm back. And let's see here. Make sure everything's working okay. Uh, looks like everything is good to go. So, um, yeah, I'm back. Uh, it was kind of a kind of a crazy week last week. Um, I wound up having to put about 500 bucks in my system here because the uh, video card decided that it was going to go and give me issues. So um, I just uh, it was a long week. So anyway, all right. So we're going to kind of build up. Um, we've got the food dog here, and I'm going to start building that up and start moving that accordingly here. So I'm just going to grab this. I think I'm going to pull that out a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is start adding in um, a little bit more kind of emphasis on some things here. So. Um, One of the things that I think I'm going to do is I've got kind of this base here, so that looks good. Um, and I want to add in a couple, couple different pieces, but some of the stuff I can do by bump map and some of it I can do by um, kind of drawing out. So. Um, what I'm going to do is just start building up some of the textures here and, and that type of thing. Um, and I want to, like right about here, I'm going to grab grab this edge here. start by just taking this edge here and moving it out so and there it lies is is going to be the, my year here so I'll just kind of deal with that and uh, I'm going to just grab this and extrude that outward and I'm going to go to vertice here mode and grab this and move that down and kind of move that around like so grab this and this and then grab this and start kind of moving that accordingly like this. And so that gives me kind of my process for my ear here. And we're going to move that inward a little bit like so. And move it downward a little bit. All right. And so with that in place, I'm going to create kind of an ear here. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to grab. Let's see. Let's just grab this, subtract this, rotate like so. And I'm going to pull that out like that. And so that by pulling that out gives me a little bit more kind of emphasis of, of um, there we go. So I'm going to just kind of pull that out like so. And start moving some of this in accordingly. That starts kind of the ear process. And then um, most of these foo dogs have some sort of kind of curly, kind of curl on there. So what I'm going to do is we are going to actually make, I think, a, a 
kind of a, a sphere here. Um, so I'm going to go in and grab and I'm going to do a box again because I think a box is smaller. Oh, my cat's in the way here. So I think the box is a little bit smaller. And we're going to bring that up like so. And then I'm going to add in some geometry here. Convert to an edible poly here. And um, we're going to go in uh, polygon count here. And click that and hit delete. And um, oops. go here. Scale that around like so. Let's try and grab that. I'm not. I don't want to go too thick here. I don't want to go too thin either. So I'll scale this. Down like so. And so what that does is creates kind of a uh, a simple little box. I'm just going to bring that up a little bit more. And then I'm going to add in a swift loop up here. And just going to something like that. And then with swift loop, I'm going to grab these pieces here. And we're going to scale, scale that down a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing for these right here. Look at the NERM version. So the NERM version kind of gives me this um, little, I don't know, little turtle shell, if you will. And then I'm going to go into Polygon here. And we're going to bring this up. And I'm going to start with some simple geometry fixes here. So probably scale this down just a hair too. I don't think I need it that big. And by rotating it like that. I'm going to just hold shift off to the side here and say OK. And I'm going to move this one like so. Kind of like that. Scale once, actually scale twice, and start by grabbing this and so looking at this you can see you know I've got um, I'm gonna grab this one here oops not rotate it like that but uh, kind of rotate it actually you know what I'm gonna do all this a little bit differently something else came to mind so we're just gonna delete that this rotated, I'm going to rotate it back at zero. And 
I'm going to wrote I'm going to scale it. Uh, I'm going to go to tools. I'm going to go to array and I'm going to hit preview. I'm going to copy Let's do point one. Let's do point two. Point three. Uh, something like that. I think that looks okay. And then let's do. We're only going to do half of it, so I'm going to do about. Let's do four, just just for giggles here. And then I'm going to do forty. Um, and I'm going to move in the Y location. And let's do point 0.4. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Point 0.3, point 0.3, I think. So we've got that going on. And I can always kind of tighten this up. So like 0.27. And then maybe this one's a uh, point two nine. We'll go with, and then we will something along those like that. And so I've got all these pieces now, and I'm going to just attach. all these together all right and then I'm gonna go to the bottom here and so when I nerm it I got these nice little turtle shell things going on and I'm gonna go to to the bottom here sure I got most of the bottom stuff. And let's go weld. And uh, let's do point zero one. So it kind of like pops things starting together that way. So let's see here. Um, I was hoping I could weld this faster this way, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. So Looks like it did a lot, but I don't trust it, so I'm going to cancel this. And uh, just start welding two and two together. So I got the collapse hotkey kind of already hotkeyed, so I'm just going to grab these pieces like so. All right, let's create this as orthographic here, so. grab this
basically keep moving like so. As you can see, I'm just very quickly just trying to close the gap here. And So the only thing I have left now is the middle pieces. So when I do this, I've got this nice little kind of organized um, kind of process going on. So I just need to go and grab the outer pieces here and kind of mash them together. And there's a little bit of overlap, but I'm not too worried about it. And I'm not over, overly worried because of the, you know, even though it's a little bit of overlap, it'll still kind of take care of and kind of give me what I want. Because I'm going to grab this after I'm done with this, and I'm going to warp it into kind of a ball. So that looks good. That looks good. Get these little bits and pieces here. good. Grab this one here. And let's piece these together here. All right, so once I've got this done now, and I can look at this, and I'm gonna just copy this over here, just make a copy of it real quick. And then I'm gonna go in and add a bend modifier. And so with the bend, I can grab an ankle or angle here, and I can grab a direction. And I can add it kind of a process like this. So this is my I'll kind of bring that like so. And then we are going to add another bend modifier. And I'm going to add an angle. And that one is going to be Of 
proper direction. So you can see here. That creates a nice little kind of helmet for my food dog. And so I'm going to just grab this and kind of rotate up like so. Kind of place that down like so. You can scale it down a little bit up here. And so I've got kind of a nice little kind of process like so. And that gives me kind of my end results that I need for my little bumpy head. And so we're going to grab this one here. And actually, I'm going to grab, copy these, and paste that. And it's going to round it out again. But I can actually kind of straighten that out like so. And kind of round that, that like so. So I've got kind of kind of my head angle in there, like that, and I think I just need to scale that down a little bit, like so, move it over, kind of match it up, I don't think I need that much. Kind of process and so just you know simply doing something like very basic like this gives me now what i'm trying to kind of um you know basically i've got that that kind of hairstyle going on with my food dog now all right now, with that in place, I need to start connecting things. Um, I can connect that I, as well. And then what I've got is, so I've got this here. And yeah, so that's. I think I'm going to just grab both of these and kind of scale them a little bit more, move them a little bit back here. I think that looks good. Let's rotate the angles like so. And I think that looks good. Like I've got this nice kind of process going on here. Um, I don't need to piece it all together yet, but I can. Um, let's collapse all. Say yes. Uh, attach that one. Grab this and just move it up just a hair. Go into Sure, everything looks good that way. And 
and just kind of start cleaning up. Alright. Make sure everything's kind of cleaned up very decently here. It looks like Let's turn off that. I think that's okay. I think everything looks okay. Kind of kind of awkward, but there we go. Alright. Um And I think that looks good. So, I mean, I can, you can always add an FFD on here. And, um, so I can add a, like a FFD, something like this, and go in these control points here. And start kind of moving things over, adjusting things like this. Um, cleaning up that way, so that gives me kind of that that value point, you know, so I can I can shape it a little bit more. But I think that's good for the hair. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab I'm going to do this. Um, So I'm going to grab, so I've got the FFD here, and we're just going to try and grab and kind of move some of these points over a little bit more. And let's collapse that again. So when it smooths around, it looks all nice and normal. But if I grab, I'm just going to try something else here. So if I grab this line here and hit this and smooth it, um, it actually still doesn't look that bad. So I think what I'm going to do, I don't know. Let me, I'm going to hold off on that section right there to kind of leave that area a little bit more kind of emphasized. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is get my uh, kind of beard and mustache going on here. So I'm just going to jump off of this. And you can see here that a lot of my stuff is connecting pretty well. Um, I'm going to just add in a little bit of stuff here, like so. And grab this and this and start kind of moving it back like so, like that. And then I'm going to go into Polygon. And I'm going to extrude that outward. Now you can see that the, the Polygon is dire need here of like love so let's just add in let's see where I really want to do this uh, pull it back a little bit push it down a little bit um, go into edge mode here let's connect a couple edges in there You know what? I'm gonna connect like so once. And my cat is looking for attention here. Yeah. All right. So I just have to do this one-handed for a second here. 
so she can get her love in. And what else we need here? Um, so I'm going to start off with some simple kind of geometry adjustments. that. And pull this one back here. And that. Let's pull these a little bit forward like so. That's good. Actually, let's grab the majority of this and start kind of rotating it around here, like so. All right. And All right. See if we can get the cat off for five minutes here. So, as you can see, that working from one direction does not necessarily always work. So we got to fix this here. All right. that. That. There's my cat mad at me because I'm not giving her the attention. That or she wants to get fed. She's kind of a mean cat. I'm just going to look and see how this is looking here. Maybe we can flatten this out a little bit more. So, uh, W of Q. There we go. And I'm going to clean up some of these polygons at the bottom here, just making sure that there we go. And like so. Still needs a little bit of cleanup, but it's not too bad. I just need to kind of make things look a little bit more kind of organized here.
And sometimes if you change the screen, I get a little bit more done here. That looks good. So once that's done, I'm basically starting to add in a little bit more kind of emphasis here. I'm going to add in so I've got that good. Uh, let's see if we can add in and kind of clean up some of this here. So I'm going to just force some of this over here, just uh, move a little bit forward. And let's move it a bit this way too. Kind of spread out a little bit more of the form. And again, keep moving things around. Don't like, don't take your word for, you know, all right, so that means I've got two, 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 and I'm short one here. So that's actually a simple fix. I'm going to go into Swift loop here and add in just one more loop. And so that's two, 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 and two. That looks good. And so the next thing I'm going to do is add some curls. And You know, sometimes it's easier to work in different methodologies here. And so you can see I'm parting a lot of this stuff together. Um, you know, trying to keep the polygon count low, trying to uh, really kind of work on the kind of variation of my different, uh, my different processes here. But one of the things that I can do is, you know, for, for a little bit more detailed things, they don't need to be kind of built all out of you know, you don't need to like build it all out of one box. And so I'm going to try something a little bit uh, uh, kind of different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a line here and we're going to go Alt W here. Uh, let's do the four by four layout. Let's go to top here. And so I can just get a scale of, of things here. And I'm going to do a couple different things. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a line. Actually, you know what? Yeah, no, not, I'll do it with a plane here. I think a plane will be just faster. So I'm going to do this. And we're going to go one by one by one. So I'm just creating uh, kind of a, a plane here like so. And I'm going to do a little bit narrower. And then I'm going to just kind of move this and clone it off to the side as a copy. Um, and so I'm just looking at kind of the process. So I'm going to copy it to another poly here. Grab this one, scale these together, and start just um, start just moving some of these shapes into some cool patterns. So something like that. And that's one of them. Grab another one here. And I think we're gonna do let's do a small one like so with like 
that. Like that. I think that one's a good one. And then let's move. And then say copy. Collapse this. Turn out of poly. And let's do I'm gonna do something a little bit different. So I'm gonna do I kinda got the curved one. Let's see if I can get so we're just gonna kinda curve. So I think that looks good. And oh, I think like that. I think that looks a little bit better. And let's move that one over like that. Okay, so you see all these pieces here. Um Polygon code here, and I'm just going to bevel these so they're just going to come up. All right. All right. That's uh. this here. And let's bevel that. Actually, let's try it this way here. All right, so we've got kind of these three pieces here. And with these three pieces, I'm going to just grab them as a whole, and we're going to rotate them. Let's see, degrees, oops. Rotate them and move them up. And let's get them over a little bit more. And all right, so let's grab this one and one. Okay, rotate that a little bit more. So you can see, I'm putting in small amounts of detail here by just kind of um, kind of using the same methodology over and over here. So um, let's rotate this one. I like like that one there. It's kind of bigger space here, so. And now let's grab this one and rotate it uh, something like this. That looks good. And then let's grab this one. I 
actually, let's grab this one again and re flip it like this. And then we're just going to use the mirror on it real quick. Um, and that's going to give you kind of that piece. And then Grab this. Ooh, what's happened there? Okay, whenever that happened, that was good. So when that happens, I'm going to go save as. And we're going to save it off as a, another file here Foodog2. And so that allows me to, in case something gets screwed up, I have iterations. And so we're just going to kind of move this back over here. And so you can see, not from this view, but let's go back here. Let's go over here. And so you can see I've got kind of this idea of Now I've got the food dog kind of kind of put together here. So I can grab some of these pieces here. I'm just gonna pull those out like that. And then I'm gonna grab a couple individual pieces here. that one back up here. Let's move that one back over here. We're going to rotate it a little bit. And let's uh, move that one back over here. And rotate it. And so this gives me a good start for next week. Um, so you can see I've kind of made my made my individual pieces. Um, I need to kind of clean up things a little bit more. But, you know, I'm starting to fill in the head with the amount of geometry that I want to get. And that's that's the key point in this is just getting, you know, getting the simple things in there um, and thinking less complex than a larger shape. So, all right, I'm going to call it done for the day and um, I'm gonna save this off. And um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to give me a holler.